Hello, welcome to another tutorial session. In this session, we will look at how to install all prerequisites necessary for an interesting series on how to scrap website data using Python. Before getting into web scraping using Selenium, it's mandatory that we first install Selenium. To know whether you have Selenium installed in your system, you could navigate through Python library files to locate the Selenium files. We could also use the easier method, the command prompt method, which we shall come to later. We navigate through the users folder into the app data folder. Into the Python folder. And for sure, we find the Selenium files. Therefore, Selenium is installed in this case. Now we come to the command prompt way. We shall first open the command prompt, not necessarily with administrator privileges. Now, we shall type in Python, then press enter. Doing this will convert the command prompt into a Python command line. This way, we do not have to save the code. Code is executed by simply pressing enter. Next, we shall import Selenium. We get no error and that's an indication that the Selenium framework is already installed in the system. We'll then query for the version of Selenium installed in the system and press enter. We get back the framework's version. Now, we can exit the Python command line. In order to install or remove a Python package, we'll have to make use of pip, which is Python's own package manager. How pip works is that it connects to an online repository of free and paid for packages. Most distributions of Python come with pip installed and ours is an inclusion. So, if we navigate to the pip folder, we find the installed files there. While at this location, we will invoke pip using the command prompt. So, we copy the application directory, then at the command prompt, type in cd, space, backslash, then paste the directory, and remove the c in colon. Press enter. Type in pip uninstall selenium and press enter. Accept. And selenium gets uninstalled. When we try to import selenium, we get a module not found error. Next, we exit the Python command line and get back to the default command prompt by pressing Ctrl Z. We are taken back to our directory. Now, to install Selenium, simply type in, pip install Selenium. Make sure your computer is connected to the internet and Selenium will get installed. Then, we shall try to import Selenium once more, and we get no errors this time. We query for the version and find it's still the same as the one we removed earlier. So there you have it, now you have removed and installed Selenium using the easier method. If you found this video helpful, you should subscribe to the channel for more informative videos and don't forget to click the like button.